Hello everyone. Today I am going to be showing you how to spawn a few dinosaurs in Ark. Um and Well I'm not really sure I'm gonna spawn in yet, so Now, as I said, I don't know what I'm going to spawn in, so I'm going to look in my code book, and I will <coughs> just pull some random really cool things out. I haven't played Ark in a while, so... Oh, uh, nope. Ugh. I forgot to change my character. And I will be doing lots of um, videos on coding in ARC. Um, I will be showing you guys how to do all of that stuff. Okay, first I just need to die. <laughs> and I see a brontosaurus, so I'm just going to get killed by that. Can you guys see that? Okay. Eh, kinda. Come on, one more big one. One more big one. One more big one. Come on, bud. Come on, bud. There we go. Thanks, bud. One more. One more. One more. Let's go. Okay. Create new survivor. Now. That's perfect. Hair color. White. Eye color. Blue. Head size. Huge. Her face. Boop. Her face. Boop. Well, apparently you guys will also be seeing how to create a, um, arc character, too. Now, the, my name, I love to just go with... Simon. Okay, now let's get into it. I will not be explaining how to, um, how to survive and that kind of stuff. I'm just going to show you how to spawn in the creatures and 
how to, well, um, how to spawn in the creatures and how to, well, um, get their saddles, obviously. Also, before I really get into this video, um, please make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Do not forget that. I would love to get more likes, views, and subscribers. Okay. So, I will also show you a trick to get past all your levels and stuff. Make it so that you cannot be attacked by creatures and you um can't die by anything so how you access the codes here is if i you click your window your three lines it brings you here it will it brings you here then um you are going to click it oh crap um both the bumpers and then X and Y, then this admin is going to pop up. You click on the admin and then you well you for this code it's going to be GM buff. I'm gonna make sure you guys can see that here. Um. I'm gonna hold that there for a few seconds. Okay. And then you're going to click admin. And now you get all your level ups. Um, you get all of that. You basically get everything. And what I'm going to do is quickly bonus myself up real quick. So this one's obviously health. You really want to get a little bit of health. A little bit of stamina and a little bit of water and then put the rest of it into weight. Oh my gosh, okay. But I'm not going to really be worrying about that today. I'm just going to be spawning in a few dinosaurs. Okay, so, first creature we are going to spawn in is the, let's go with a Chiroof, also known as the Magmasaur, my personal favorite in Ark Survival. Now... The code for the key roof and what you want to do is GM summon GM summon space quotations Chiroof, C H E R U F E underscore character underscore 
B P underscore C close those quotations then um the level that you want it and in this case we are going to do uh let's do five fifty thousand there is our chi roof okay now to to spawn in the saddle i do not recommend deleting the whole thing keep chi roof in there what you are going to do is do g f i space chi roof space one zero zero access your creatures inventory and put the saddle in there uh whistle stop off okay so this is the cheer roof the or magma sword it is an awesome creature now if you pay attention closely to the level of this creature which is right there um you do not actually have the level that you chose i chose 50,000 and I got 75,000 that's because there is a something percent tame boost um and um I think that's really awesome it makes your dinosaur really OP now I will show you the tricks to this so right trigger is the melee button that and this, the magma, the magma sword can mine rocks and stuff to get metal. Now, um, the, if you hold the left trigger, there, there is a little thing. You will um start um b building up that um heat, like searing um s spit heat right there. Um, it's really powerful if you get next to creatures, um, while holding that, um, it just, um, it just, um, it burns them. And, um, if you go, well, if you get off of your creature, you hold Y. And then you see this enable smelting. You want to en enable that, and then it becomes a forge. It um takes all of the metal that you have collected, and it turns it into metal ingot. Now, I'm going to go here. Do not erase that. You are going to go to Cheroof. Erase Cheroof. Um, you are going to go metal in got. Now let's see if that works. That did work. Now I'm going to change this one to one thousand, but it'll probably only give me one hundred every time I click it. Now, I have 74, wait, no, 7,000 pieces of metal ingot. I am going to transfer all of those to my Magnusaur. Okay. Now that they are all in, if I hold this, 
and I let go, it releases a giant fireball. When it hits, a bunch of oil, fiery oil is going to be on the ground, all of that. Now, if you hold it, and then you click right joystick, it will release it out of the sides. Which is kind of like an area attack. Now, um, if you click, um, I forgot what it was. Was it? No. Oh, if you click A, um, your creature will set off pheromones telling all of the creatures in the area to come and attack you. Or, what are they called? Not pheromones. Scent. It's a scent. Lo siento. And, let me find a creature. Okay, I, I see... I see a raptor over there. I'm going to use A to lure him toward me, and then I'm going to burn them all. Yeah, see how they all just went toward me? So if I hold this, they're, they're starting to catch on fire. Now, if I click right joystick, it sends them all off, and then, um, the um, start to burn from the oil. And the fireball also does a butt-ton of damage. And then if I shoot, let's say, this pig thing with the fireball, Almost instantly killed. Actually, instantly killed. Okay. Now, I do recommend the, um, Magmasaur. It is a great creature, especially for survival. Great creature. Now, second thing we are going to spawn in is... Um, let's look here. Um, I'm going to do a, z wait, no, ye wait, I'll do the Xenomorph now. What the Xenomorph is, if you guys know what it is, it is a Reaper. They are amazing. So, what we are going to do is GM Summon. <coughs> um, space. Quotations. Oh, nope. Z. No. More. Can you guys see that okay? I think you guys can. Okay. Xenomorph. Underscore. Character Wait Underscore BP Under Wait Crap Okay So The trick with the Xenomorph is you do character bp underscore 
not C, you are going to do male or female. Now, these creatures do not need saddles. So, you're going to do male underscore C. Close those quotations. And then, whatever level you like, I'm going to go a crazy level. I'm going to do 99 million something. I don't know. And that just broke my Xbox. <laughs> I, okay, that was not smart of me. Hopefully, I trimmed this. Now, as you just saw, I crashed my game. Do not <laughs> spawn dinosaurs at crazy, crazy levels. Because <clears throat> I have the Xbox X and that crashed my, <laughs> my game. And... That does not make me happy. I'm just going to hurry up and create a new survivor because, well, it may have just, uh, and as I said before, I hope I, um, trimmed this video. I'm sorry if I wasn't able to. Oh no, we don't want to make him fat. But, um, if I have said, I'm not sure. I am very picky about characters, about games, where I put stuff in, um, Fortnite. I've said I love to keep my loadout um, organized, that's how I am in everything, so, I like to do that, there is another command I am about to show you, and that is, the command, fly, When I do this command, I will be able to fly across the map. Yeet is! Okay. Now. Let me find a good spot. Now, to stop this, you do walk. Or you go into water. Doesn't really matter. And I'm going to quickly... Do G and buff so I don't die. Can't take that. Okay. Now, G M summon quotations Z no. More
underscore care actor underscore b p underscore male underscore c close those quotations and then the level that you want i'm going to go 5000 dang it that still crashed my game I am going to do a smaller, smaller level. Or I'm just going to explain them. Because they may have made it so that you can't spawn in the Reapers. I am not sure. Ugh, that makes me so frustrated. Hopefully they didn't do that. Scorpions have a tranquilizing poison. Don't get knocked out. If you can't read that small description right there, which you probably can't because it's so small and my screen is so bad at taking videos. Sorry guys, I did not mean for this to take that long. I did not want this video to be as long as it is I'm just going to spawn I don't really care okay I'm just gonna go right off the bat go here go here uh, G M some um, Z no more Also if you can't hear it or see it it is spelt with an X not a Z underscore care underscore b p underscore male underscore c wait underscore c oh yeah. i'm just gonna do one please work I think it's that code. I don't think you can spawn in Reapers anymore. Can you please, um, please share that in the comments down below? Because I love Reapers. Hopefully, they didn't get rid of that. Oh, if they did, I'm going to be so angry. Well, I am going to skip past that. There is a male and a female. The female is bigger. Um, it cannot jump. The male can. The male is a lot smaller. Um, but yeah. And we are going to now spawn in the new dinosaur dinosaur. Um... 
Um, I just got to find. How to spawn a the new dinosaur uh, allosaurus thing in Ark? No, not allosaurus. How to spawn new dinosaur in Ark? Okay. Oh, Carodontosaurus. Oh, it's the Carodontosaurus. How to spawn Carodontosaurus code. No, Carodontosaurus. How to spawn a Carodontosaurus the code. No, not Carnosaurus. Sorry, guys. How to spawn a Carodontosaurus in Ark code. Oh my gosh. Thank you. Oh, it's an SDF code. Is it? It is. Hold on, hold on. It is. Do I have that written? I don't think I have that written. Let's see if that works. Okay, I'm not sure if this tames in spawn is um tamed or not. So it says here cheat. SDF Well, you you don't have to use the cheat SDF Karcha Wait, is that what it says? Yeah Karcha One and this guy does a 500 I'm just going to do a 500 to see what it is. There we go, guys. That is the new dinosaur. Ugh. I'm going to get that ring. Real quick. Okay. S. D. F. Archer one five hundred, and it looks like you do not get a tame bonus with the level. Let me spawn in another. Hey, female male. I like that pink purple one. That one's nice. Okay, I don't know why I was about to say pink. Okay.
Okay. Um. How to spawn a Carodontosaurus saddle. You know what? It keeps pulling up how to spawn every saddle in Ark. I know I have ridden these guys, so I'm just going to go off of what I know. And that is GFI. Car one zero zero. Yes, wait. What did I just spawn in? Can you wear this? Yes, you can. Oh my gosh, I am too good. I just got in big brains. Okay, let me just spawn in one more. Okay, guys. That is all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. Well, first... I'm gonna show you what this guy can do. So. Left trigger is that little tail sweep thing. Right joystick is the roar. Um, right trigger is the bite. And I know that there's some special effects, so if I kill this guy... Yeah, th yeah see that blue thing? And now if I kill him... Uh, I got, like, blood teeth, and I have, like, um... You know how the Giga, when it, um, it's close to dying, it gets that blue eye, well, red eyes thing, and it gets really powerful? That's what happens after this guy kills something and eats it. It gets really powerful. It's just a really overpowered thing. And look at the size compared to a Spinosaurus. And I just two-shot that thing. Okay. Ugh. Let's see what the roar does. Okay, there's a parasaur right here. Okay, it's just cool, I guess. Oh, and the tail sweep just immediately got that, um, thing. Okay. Well, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed... Um, I, look, I just want to say I want to get to, um, five subscribers by the end of the week. Um, I hope I get lots of views out of this. Make sure to tell your friends, family about me. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Bye.